Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Easy Auctioning Collectibles. Uh, today I'm going to be opening up another personal rip for my collection, the new release Star Wars Galaxy Chrome or Star Wars Chrome Galaxy, whatever you want to call it. This came out last week and I received my box this morning in the uh, mail. This is a hobby only product and they've made a little change from previous years it used to be you were guaranteed one autograph per box they got rid of that which honestly I don't really care about as much because the autograph you usually get was some background character or voice uh, animated actor voice talent so they weren't worth all that much anyways what they do now is they guarantee you're going to get three chrome parallels per box so that's really what I like about this product. This is my second favorite Star Wars product that's released each, well, actually Masterpiece, I don't think is released every year, but Masterpiece is my favorite. This is my second favorite. Uh, I'm hoping to get, I'd be happy with just a numbered parallel of one of the nicer art cards that are in here. I've seen a few people open them and there are some really nice looking cards in here. Um, heck, I'd be happy with the refractors of those, but at least one numbered of uh, Dark Maul or Vader, something cool like that, and I'd be happy. It's a very small, thin box. Uh, I think you get four or five cards per pack. I used to tell you on the box, yeah, here we, oh, it was only 18 cards or 18 packs. And four cards per pack. So yeah, it's very small. There's the... I'll go ahead and put that back there. Shuffle these up a little bit so hopefully I don't get all the the numbered cards in the first few packs. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> you can still pull autographs out of here and sketch cards, but they're very hard to, to get. I think I heard sketch cards are one per case. And I'm not sure about the autograph cards. All right, here's our first card. Star Wars Saga. There's a Gamorrean guard. That's a refractor. I think you get a refractor in every pack. Uh, attack on the second Death Star with Admiral Akbar. And there's a nice Vader. I'm guessing this is a duel in Cloud City. Carbonite Chamber, yep. <clears throat> that's a nice Luke. Yoda, that's a refractor. Two refractors. Wise Yoda and Boba Fett. That's an insert. And Tarkin Invader. This is Darth Vader and his Bounty Hunters. And the Bounty Hunters art card. So this is an insert. Uh, here we I don't think that's Boba, but because that gun doesn't look like his, but let's see what it says on the back. On the hunt. Oh, it is Boba Fett. Okay. Just a different interpretation. Oh, Emperor Palpatine. That's... Here's a refractor. That's a nice one. That's uh, from The Last Jedi. Face the dark side, and then Vader become... or Vader getting his... Armor, Coming Sith. It's pretty cool, too. Hadn't seen that one. Hmm. 
something. Oh, it's a die cut. Ooh. I have not seen anyone pull one of those, so I'm not sure how hard those are to get, but I'm going to hold that one off. Let that marinate for a little while. This is a cool scene from Return of the Jedi. Vader's shuttle approaching the Death Star. Han surrounded by stormtroopers. Here's another refractor. Oh, that's a nice big attack on Takan Takodana. That I would love to get this in a parallel. That is awesome. Forced in darkness. Battle of Hoth. Ooh, uh, well, I kind of ruined that one. Here's our first numbered card. It's numbered out of 75, so let's see. Pull from the back. Here's uh, just another insert, Return of the Jedi. So put that over there. And our numbered card is Lando Calrissian. 51 of 75. All right, well, it's a decent parallel. I think this is the prism refractor. Have to go back and check uh, either Beckett.com or Cardboard Connection to see which parallel this one is. Uh, tilt this up a little bit so we can get there we go oh this is this pack feels thin it might be um, missing a card out of this one but no it has four there's Luke and Obi-Wan on Hoth here's the regular card of Lando so, oh, we got a refractor. Okay, I'm halfway there. Now if I can just get a parallel. Uh, technically a refractor is a parallel, I guess, but a uh, numbered one. And then this card, this one again. This is an awesome artwork on this. Just too bad it's from a crappy movie. Vader card, picking up Obi-Wan's lightsaber after their duel. This is another, I believe, this is an insert. Nope, it's just a refractor, just like back home. This is definitely an insert, the Visions and then Kylo in the First Order. I guess I'll just put all my inserts in one pile. That way I don't have everything spread out all over the place. Nice picture of Millennium Falcon. Here's a refractor of the Kylo Ren. Not bad. Hera. This may be an insert. Yes. And then that's a nice one of Han and Carbonite. It's this one. Women of Star Wars. Yeah, that's the other. So I think we've hit all four. I think there are only four insert or subsets. Kylo and Ray. There's the that's a refractor though, so it's not duplicate. Ooh, that's nice. Again, that's from The Last Jedi. Well, that's a nice one too. Wow. That'd be a cool one to get a parallel out of. another one that's another nice one that's beautiful 
in the back and another one man these cards are so great and refractor boba fett is this an insert or just a base card yeah base card both base refractor R2 and C3PO on Moss, uh, not on Tatooine in the desert. A uh, nice refractor of the Yoda lifting the Luke's X Wing. This must be a woman of Star Wars. That's Queen, I'm guessing Queen Amidala. Queen's Handmaidens. Cool. And Stormtroopers with the uh, Dubat. one feels a little thicker so maybe there's a numbered card in here nope ATST on indoor that's a nice one nice refractor there another beautiful card T-wing lifting off I guess that's Yavin Dawn of the Rebellion then Yoda in his hut. All right, so maybe there's a in a numbered card in the pack I set to the side because we've only pulled one so far, and I'm oh, this is the I have five packs left, including this one. So we'll see. Masters of the Force, I think this one is called. Yep. Ooh, that one's nice too. Nice refractor. Luke on his uh, Tauntaun. Here's our another. Here's another numbered card. This must be the women of Star Wars. Queen Amidala. 87 of 99. And Boba Fett. So that's a green. Yep. The women of Star Wars. All right, four packs plus the one set to the side. That's, oh man, I, get, I say this a lot, but that, that's a nice looking Vader card. I mean, I, I really like these cards. I may have to get another box. This is the Refractor. This is the Visions insert. And some ATSTs and Swamp. I gotta sell some stuff though. <laughs> These boxes are not cheap. They are cheaper than they were last year though. About like a hundred dollars cheaper. Ooh, there's our last numbered card. That looks like an atomic. So we'll let that one sit over there. Everything else which should be base packs unless we get a bonus hit. Ooh, that card's damaged. Uh, I'm not going to send back one card. Here's another uh, nice refractor. Another cool looking Vader. This must be part of that. Yeah, Darth Vader and the Bounty Hunters insert. And then we've seen this one before. That's a shame because I don't think I have this one yet, but the corner definitely got messed up there. <clears throat> All right. Oh man, that one, this one is sweet looking too. Is this an insert? Nope. And then the Gamorrean Guard again. These two have some smudges on them. I think that'll come out though with a microfiber cloth. Yeah, it just wiped right off. It's not like a roller print line. Yeah, came right off. All right. Let's start with the Atomic first. Because the uh, die cut one, I have no idea what that could be. All right, from the back, we have Yoda. 
our movie poster, another Return of the Jedi. And it's Luke and Obi-Wan. That looks actually pretty nice with that, the background, the, the border with that card. Like a diamond effect. 59 out of 150. So the die cut, I guess, is a kind of a bonus hit. Like I said, I've watched a few videos and I have not seen anyone pull one. So, and it's the third card. So, crap. <laughs> Boba Fett and Cloud City. Here's our refractor. Oh, it's a Kanan Jairus. Uh, Kyber Crystal. And then the stormtroopers. So I'm gonna have to look this up and see how hard these are to to get. Uh, KCD 12, Cannon Jairus, Kyber Crystal, die cut from Rebels. So that's pretty cool. Gonna be hard. Actually, this one will fit in a regular size top loader. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my box. Um, no sketch or autograph, but uh, an extra hit, Kyber Crystal, and I'm sure it's probably pretty difficult to pull. just weird shaped and it's it kind of floats around in the top loader probably will send these off to get graded um, I don't know this one it's hard to get grade die cut stuff but I'll take a closer look at it and decide usually when I get these numbered cards out of this these types of products I do send them off to get graded if I don't get tens I most likely put them up for sale it's ten or nothing for me baby <laughs> all right well thanks for watching if you don't mind hitting the like button for the video uh, sharing the video with your friends or on and what have you uh, feel free to drop a comment down below uh, tell me what you thought about the product if you've bought any if you're consider buying any I would recommend it I think it's it's pretty cool and like I said I'm a big fan of the of this set anyways I've been buying it for three years three or four years and I've hit some pretty nice cards out of it so uh, and like I said I'm happy the price came down a little bit this year so that's also a bonus so then, um, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, it'll help us out if you're not subscribed already. And uh, that's it. Thanks. Good night.